Good everything. It is Monday, July 17th. And I noticed that I'm getting a little too many brown leaves in this area. So what I'm going to try to do is come in here this morning and get all these dead runners leaves cut off in any of the beds that I see that needs it addressed. It's about, and I might have already said this, 7 a.m. Already got the t kids taken care of. And I need to um, deliver eggs to the pantry around 8. So let me get some of this taken care of before I leave. And I will bring you back. Got one. All right. So this plant seemed to be one of my biggest problem children, but it has fruit on it, I have buds, however, these three plants are the same variety, so I should have, as you can see, I have a lot of blossoms. But I'm only finding one fruit on it so far. I found a rotten one. Got rid of that. The plant next to it, that one. And that's its fruit. Uh, when I look at this one, like you can see a lot of blossoms. One fruit. And I would expect there's about three in this row that's the same variety as well. So I'm thinking I should have more than that. So I am going to, okay, I have another one there and a few more of a different variety. I am going to reach out to the, um, people that sold me the seed and ask a few more questions. I'm thinking maybe my fertilization, perhaps. And then I will um, see. This one was shaded that much to the point where blossom just brought it off. And get entangled anyway yeah so I will reach out and see what recommendations they have as it pertains to the um, fertilization strategy now some of these are supposed to stay on the um, vine until they change colors so I'm not worried about them being the size they are and looking like they are ready to get harvested. All right, so on this variety, as you can see, trying to figure out why the leaves see how many blossoms it has on it yeah I just need to know why these leaves are this drastic compare to all others okay the difference This one is the runt of the litter. It's now sending out runners and blossoms. And those are supposed to be a different stripe color. All right, so I even have a few. That's 
weave of a way back here. Mm. All right. Got one that didn't make it. A few blossoms that are falling off. So. So that's a bit of what I clipped or picked up. I am going to go shoot an email to the seed seller, get these eggs loaded up and hopefully by the time I get back from that I'll get a response and I could address this issue today. So I figured I'd come back out here, it's now 11.30 and pick this cucumber. And I'm looking and I see I have looks like two more over there, one there and one there. And that one there. So that's what I end up harvesting this morning. Uh, some tomatoes, peas, beans, and a cucumber. The tomatoes could get ripen ripen when they sit on my uh, shelf. I also heard back from the seed company and they want me to send them some pics of these leaves. So I'm going to take some pictures and send them and hopefully I get a response as to what might be affecting these particular plants. Okay, so it's 6 p.m. and I'm back out here. The gentleman from the seed company and I chatted via email back and forth for a little while after he got the pics. And we've ruled out something fungus, uh, insect, uh, and the only thing we could settle on is probably um, lack of water, per se. But what I don't understand is how this area, that area, and a spot over there is the only three places I'm noticing these leaf browning. So what we came upon was that I'm going to try a regiment of uh, fertilizing. So I just finished fertilizing everything in hopes that that helps with the problem. We'll see, but the gentleman was very helpful, and um, we couldn't come up with what may be the issue. So I worked my way through this maze and did my best to get the base of each plant fertilized so maybe foliage feeding is the next avenue so I'll keep an eye on it for a few days and see if I notice any changes so I decided to harvest that broccoli here maybe the broccolini instead of broccoli but I did get nice broccoli head hair and I notice I have another one coming up here so broccoli harvest complete and today I received my package from Miss Diva Jones 03 I ordered a few berry plants so let's open this up and see what we got all right, so you can see I have buds on these. I want to say this is a mulberry. Supposed to be goji berry, elderberry, or probably mulberry. I might have those wrong. I need to check her email, the email that she sent me with what's what. See, I have some young leaves on them 
and the paper towels are still moist and the soil here I can tell is so moist so my task for tomorrow is going to be to plant these up I definitely know that's a goji berry so yeah I'm going to end the vlog here for today thanks for stopping by trust you all had a blessed day and I'll catch you on the next one bye